Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Tom and as a professional photographer and videographer I am obviously a massive fan of the cameras inside the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. So let's talk about that camera. So first off, this is a newly designed 12 megapixel sensor with ultra wide lens. Over the previous generation Ray-Ban Stories glasses, it's the equivalent of going from the iPhone 4's camera all the way up to the iPhone 11's camera. So that is obviously a significant bump in quality and it genuinely is really impressive. They shoot photos at a resolution of 3024 by 4032 pixels. They're in portrait orientation and are absolutely perfect for sharing on your social media. The colors are crisp, the images are sharp, and obviously a real benefit is of course this point of view angle, which I absolutely love and is something that's so unique to this camera and these glasses. It allows getting shots like this, whereas like previously before, I'd have had to go like this with my phone and kind of get all awkward like whereas now it's literally at the touch of a button. Videos are also really impressive, now shooting at 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. First things first, within the MetaView application with your glasses paired, you can head over to the settings page, go to camera, and here you can specify how long you'd like the default length of your videos to be, going from 15 seconds, 30 seconds, to up to 60 seconds. It's worth noting that with the Ray-Ban Meta, if you tap and hold, you can see that you're now recording a video and you get this LED light indicator that is on at all times when you're recording video on the glasses. This is obviously to ensure that everyone who might be featured in the frame of the video are aware that they're being filmed. There's a couple of things that have really impressed me while shooting video on the Ray-Ban Meta. First is the stabilization. So there's obviously a lot going on when we kind of are living our lives and the brain is doing a ton to stabilize your vision. The Ray-Ban Meta do a fantastic job at kind of mimicking and replicating this stabilization and genuinely you're not getting a ton of like digital warp but also the footage isn't like nauseating to look at it's genuinely really impressed me something else i love is that the general kind of evenness of exposure is very very good and this is not something to be underappreciated like when you go from outside situations to inside situations this is almost like faster than most smartphones at getting the video straight away up to a decent exposure level so that you have a seamless video experience obviously of course as well you can voice control this entire process so you can say, hey Meta, take a photo. And that will take a photo. But you can also ask it to start recordings, take videos and stop recordings as well. So now you've captured some photos and videos on the Ray-Ban Meta, what about storing them? So the good news is the storage has been bumped from the last generation models from four gigabytes of storage all the way up to 32 gigabytes of storage. This allows us storage for up to 100 videos of 30 seconds long and over 500 photos without having to offload them onto your phone. In terms of shooting time, you'll get up to four hours usage on a single charge. But the good news is you can just whack these in the Ray-Ban Meta charging case, like so, nice and easy. And you can charge these glasses up to eight times on a single charge of one of these cases. One of the things I've really been enjoying is just how easy it is to share content straight from the MetaView application. So you could just select the images and videos that you want to share, and then you literally get a button right at the bottom, share it to WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or you can use the native iOS sharing function like AirDrop, which is super convenient for me. So that's it for the cameras on the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. Hopefully you now feel empowered to go and shoot some unique and interesting perspective using your glasses. If you'd like to see more videos on Ray-Ban Meta, please stay subscribed to the channel. You can check out more videos right here.